Hello internet and welcome to my channel. I'm Henrik Hjelte and this is the story about building a foldable boat. In this video I will be drawing up some plans for the foldable boat. I started this journey by looking around on the internet on some different foldable boats that other have been created. The one that really stuck in my mind was the Sea Hopper, which you can see a picture of here. I'm pretty sure I can't do it cheaper or better than they can, but I'm up for a challenge, so here we go. So the plywood sheets that I will be able to get will be 2 meters and 40 centimeters long, so that will be the sign constraint. When I'm drawing this it will be in 1 to 3 scale, so the length of the boat will be 80 centimeters in this drawing. Right now I'm just drawing a reference line in the middle of the paper that I will be using to draw other things based on later on. I'm currently living in an apartment in the middle of the city and that's why I need this to be a foldable boat. I managed to get hold of a sturdy piece of thick PVC tarp that I will be using for all the seams and the front and the back of the boat. I have not yet bought the plywood sheets needed for this build and I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna build this. I have access to a joint a workroom in the basement and that's the most probable place that I will use. Here I'm just marking out the front and the back of the boat at the 90 degree angle to the reference line, 80 centimeters apart. Now I'm drawing out another reference line, 5 centimeters above the other reference line I made. This is to help me draw on the railing later on. I always wanted to build a boat but I never felt like I had the space enough to do it. And when I saw these foldable boats, I was, yeah, this is something that I actually can build. I'm not sure if my partner thinks the timing of this project is perfect, since we're gonna have our first kid in a couple of months. Hopefully this will not affect this project too much, but only time will tell. Here you can see me measuring down four centimeters from the central reference line at the back of the boat. This point will be connected to the point where the central line and the front of the boat intersects to make a diagonal reference line. I put a clamp in each of these two points to use as anchors for then bending a curve uh, between the points. So I measure down five centimeters in the middle and I bend to this five centimeters point in the middle using the two clamps as anchors in the edges. This curve is the connection point between the side of the boat and the bottom of the boat. I will now set a clamp in each of the two corners for the reference line for the railing and then measure down uh, one centimeter and then draw out the line for the railing of the boat. So now we have completed the first part of the boat. This is the side of the boat and we've drawn it in one third scale. And now we will move on to the bottom of the boat. So we're going to start with creating a central reference line and then measuring out where the front and the back of the boat is. So the length of the bottom of the boat will be the same as the side of the boat. And that's 80 centimeters on this one third scale drawing. Now I'm going to do one more reference line, 7 centimeters above the central reference line. This is pointing towards the middle of the boat. Now I'm measuring down 4 centimeters to make a diagonal reference line for the curve that will meet the side. It's important that you make the measurements and the curve the same as it was on the side of the boat. I will use the clamp again as anchoring points as I create the curve using the mark 5 cm below the diagonal reference line. Now I'm measuring out 1 cm for the curve against the middle of the boat and then I will use the clamps to once again being able to draw the curve. So now we have completed the bottom panel of the boat. Now it's time to draw the back side of the boat. I'm creating a line for the top railing of the boat 
and then marking out a center line on the piece of paper as a reference point for the rest of the drawing. In between the two central panels there will be a 2.5 cm rectangle square by 80 cm in one third scale. Outside of this I will measure out a 10.8 cm and a 2 cm extra block. I will now draw a reference line at each of these points at a 90 degree angle to the railing. The outermost square on each side will be for the side of the boat and the next square in will be for the bottom of the boat and the middle will be for the middle panel of the boat. I'll now draw a reference line so the diagonal in the outermost uh, panel will be 9 cm so the, the reference line will be just under 9 cm from the railing line. So now I want to create a diagonal line that's 11 cm long for the bottom of the boat. So that will be 2.5 cm from the uh, reference line I just created. And now we just need to draw in the outline of the back of the boat using the reference lines we just created. Now I will draw the front of the boat. I will mark out the center of the paper and make a reference line serving as the center of the boat. I'll now mark out the 2.5 cm middle part of the boat and create the reference lines. I now do a reference line just under 5 cm down so the diagonal for the side will be 5 cm. To create a diagonal for the 7 cm bottom of the boat, I create a reference line just under 1.5 cm down from the other reference line. And now we're going to create a reference line 8.2 cm and 9.2 cm from the center line. Now that we have done all the reference lines, we can just fill out the outline of the front of the boat. And that's the outline of almost all the major parts of the boat done, with the exception of the 2.5 uh, cm by 80 cm uh, middle part of the boat that I will not show drawing. Now we just uh, cut out uh, and test fit the parts and see if it works together. So I will tape everything together and uh, I drawn out some extra sides and bottoms because they are duplicates and here we can see the result of everything and it looks good thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next part